her character, or is Alexia her own entire character? She's her own entire character. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. You know what? I'm gonna oh, yeah. send... Oh, okay. I'm gonna send Alexia a, a text message. Maybe she has the time. So I'm not glad the old campaign's over, because I like the old campaign, but I am glad that we finished the fucking campaign. That's... I, I, I was talking to people, I was like, you know, I don't really know where to go with the, like, after level 10, so... I don't know. Yeah, I was I mean, like, it was fun. Uh, I'm having fun making this new one, so I'm just gonna make a new one. Yeah. Well, Sam, I was having fun with it. It's a good campaign. I, I, and... Yay, you know, I'm not like, woohoo, it's over, but I'm like, woohoo, we finished it, you know? Yeah, definitely. If I'd had another radiant oil, though, that thing would have been toast. <laughs> Five radiant punches with sneak and more d4s. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, man, can you, can you let the thing like live for ten seconds? <laughs> no, it did live to about thirty seconds. So I, I that's a to the better weapon, so I could kill it faster. Oh, cool. My OPS decided to crash on me. Excellent. Excellent. But the other good thing is I have not experienced, like, the sudden, you know, loss of internet. So that's nice. Oh, that's a nasty job. Nasty job what? Because I sometimes lose randomly my internet. Uh, that's No, like, the other times I would just be like... Completely, uh, you know. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about me. He's trying to hit you, but yeah. Do you want to rename the channel in the Discord, by the way? It's currently still called The Next Campaign. I'll, I'll do that eventually. Oh, yeah, so okay. what home rules did I miss? Nothing? Oh. Uh, whatever was in that document. And uh, if you were to go to your, uh, if you literally searched up, you would have homebrew campaign setting, and as 1.0 homebrew rules, we went over the strength and intelligence saves or differences and other things. Basically, if you have a, a plus to intelligence, you get extra proficiencies. There's the strength rule for combat. Um, we started, we changed uh, long and short resting, I think. As well as that's all I remember. I do have a plus one to intelligence, so I get a random proficiency in something. Yeah, you just yep. get to pick another proficiency. I've got three new ones. I, I think I will then grab proficiency in a. In a, a yeah, a negative. Stuff. You have to remove one, right? Yeah, if you get negative, you got to remove one. Oh, we took away the removal because. Yeah, it just didn't. We, not everyone agreed with that, so. Uh, intimidation. We already did that. You can use a charisma or strength because you could be a brawly orc and do that. Uh, you guys know how I run the game pretty much. Uh, if you guys discuss powerful magic, uh, you get things. You could copy spells into your spell book, and you could, ch if you choose a spell and you want to change it up a little bit like it's not a fireball it's an acid bomb you, you when you learn to spell you can change the description immediately so long as you keep the mechanics the same you could change up the damage type to something that makes sense and just kind of send it to me you know Neat. 
just damage types, so you can thematically theme yourself being like, I am the ice wizard, I only do ice magic. I am the mushroom druid, I only uh, do Death saving throws are a little bit different, there's no critical fails anymore. On a natural 20, you actually can heal yourself, which is nice. And three successes means that you return to life with one health. But your failures keep until you do a full rest. The only way to get a failure is to roll a one or a not one through nine, and you, when you roll a, your uh, death saving throws, you're using your constitution check. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, if creatures attack you, then their damage equates how much uh, modifiers, they, how many fails they do. Wait, hold on. So a I'm going to check one of my spells. Cobalt can't poke me with a needle and do two death saves. No, he would only do one unless he dealt twenty-five in, or twenty-six in one hit. Okay, wait. So uh, advantages, advantages do stack. So if you get two advantages, you get a two d twenty plus two. If you got three advantages, it's plus five. And if you got four advantages, it's plus ten. Wait, so where's this document? If you look up in your Google Docs. And you just type in homebrew campaign setting, you'll see a whole folder. Oh, right, I clicked on that at some point. So, uh, massive criticals, when you roll to crit, your original dice roll maxes out. So if you were to 2d6 plus 2 because you use a great weapon, it is now 2d6 plus 14 when you crit. You still do your dice roll, but you add a max onto it. If you were in roll 20, I could easily uh, set you up to do that. Otherwise, we just brain it. You just tell me when you do it. Huh. Make sense? Yeah. Sure. Uh, resting. Uh, half rest, you spend 10 minutes and you can regain one hit die. You can do that as much as you have hit dice. Uh, short rest is one hour, as per the rules. And a long rest is a little bit varied how it goes. Don't worry about it too much. And then you can only short... Full, long rest and short rest are like you're out in um, not a safe environment. So if you're in a dungeon and you're long resting, it's not safe. You can only do that once. Because you know you guys are keeping watch, and it's a three-hour rest, and you know you're in, you're in a situation where you feel like you're about to be attacked. And then a full rest is to reset yourself fully. Uh, there's a little bit of variant rules. I don't think it really applies to you, but it might. If you're using a heavy or two-handed weapon, uh, whenever you deal damage and it reduces creature to zero, that damage carries over to the next creature, so long as you still could hit it with your original roll. Question. Yep. Uh, not in session theory, you only said heavy. So two-handed raid club would still count. As in his turn. Uh, I forgot. I think we just made it heavy, but yeah, you made it just heavy, but just heavy. Great club uh, isn't a heavy weapon. Would. Does it have versatile or two-handed? That's right. It was versatile or heavy. Technically, in Just... the real world, a hosta is versatile, but in the game it's not, and I'm totally okay with that, because it's my backup weapon in case something gets too close. Yeah. Uh, I just shoot spells at people. Uh, the other thing you can do now is you can do something called a cold shot. You take a minus five to your attack roll, and you can apply an injury to that creature. Uh, the creature would then roll the injury, or if you specifically specify something, it would take that injury effect. Great so now you can... Yeah, so now you can poke out per uh, both eyes on a person. If you really wanted to. Uh, and then everything else is kind of the same, so that's all you really have been different. I added a little bit. Though it seems like a lot, but maybe it's not. It's very wordy. So what are we All good? Oh, that's it. I'm ready. Y'all ready? I'm, 
I'm super torn as to what invocations I'll get, but that's like two levels away, so let's do let's go. Yeah. What's the well, what? uh, what's the plan for our leveling this then? It's it's still milestone. Yeah, I know it's still milestone, but like what's the target level? Are we going for ten again? I'm not entirely certain. I think I'd just be doing ten because I am comfortable at that range. I don't know how to go anything beyond, but we'll see. Like I'm not sure how much trouble y'all are gonna get in. Okay, sure, sure. Oh, oh this has a proper name now. So, since this is the first time we'd be streaming it, why don't we introduce each character? What they look like and what a public kind of knowledge would be. And also, what kind of happened last event? So let's start off with character introductions. We'll go start with Revos first, because why not? I'm Revos, I'm totally not a Dragonborn, but uh... I'm a pretty charismatic buff dude from the mountains, totally down for my good times and honoring the ancestors. I wear the simple garbs of my people, clad in grays and blues, and by my side is a traditional uh, glaive weapon uh, carved from uh, uh, the highest trees upon the mountaintop and ores thereof. Ha ha! I'm totally not a dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> Playing my homebrew dragonborn. No, your description just made me laugh. I know. I'm just saying it out loud for out loudness. And All right, I'm totally we'll gonna make myself a French bread pizza in the microwave. Ha! We'll go oh, I'm also a class. class. Yeah. We'll go clockwise class. Uh, Xerthus, can you introduce your little pet and then yourself? No, okay, fine. Um, so Xerthus is a normal-sized elven man. Really shaggy hair. Um, on his shoulder is this small fox-ish creature with wings. Um, he's really, really awkward in social encounters. And he keeps reading from a book every now and then. And he's a wizard. You the weathered. Who's Bjorn? Can you introduce your... Oh, what's your uh, pet's name, by the way? I still haven't figured that one out. I'm gonna figure that out right now. Do that right now. Uh, hello there. I am the um, the great druid of uh, Hus Bjorn. Uh, and this is Agneta. Uh, me and Agneta are on a big adventure. I'm a, I'm a dwarf druid. And um, I have a donkey named Agneta. Uh, I look uh, I look like I've slept in the woods for 45 years. And probably have taken a bath in like a same amount of time. I'm, uh, I'm quite grumpy and I'm an old grandpa. His name is Copper. Copper? Copper. C O P P E R. Oh, I think you could change it and it'll change. Maybe not. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna go get a second monster for the first time in ages. Uh, uh, we'll go clockwise across Sildor. Sildor. Uh, he looks like his image because I love the image more than what I thought I created. He's a half elf, so the ears are a little more pointed than that, but it's good enough. Um, he's <coughs> he's only known in port towns, but he and people who have heard of him know him. They, they regard him as sort of a a good guy and a lucky charm because of an incident that happened at sea when he saved his ship. Well, not his ship. He was a deckhand on the ship. Yeah. yeah, that works. Uh, and then last, Lysander. Lysander is a dark, tall man uh, with 
dark skin, grey eyes and an impressive stature at 6'2". Six six and he's unlike most people that, that you tend to meet. He wears long flowing robes, but definitely has something underneath it that is more protective. His long black hair is made of dreads tied together in the back with a ponytail. And he holds a rapier and has a, uh, a cane, a bow staff that he uses for walking. All right. And what happened last uh, in session zero and a half? Well, First of all, we came together. Uh, we had some conversations to establish our characters together to each other. Mm -hmm. And after that, we uh, had a short battle um, where some goblins put an ambush out by putting a broken, or it looked like broken golem in the middle of the road, which came to life the moment our druid decided to step near it. And where are you guys headed? Well, we're, we're in a town, aren't we? We're in uh, unnamed triangle. Ah, right. No, you guys are in Sutter. Sutter. That was it. Oh, right. We entered the town uh, from the bottom right. Yep. Um, our druid went off into the general store to buy shit, and the rest of us all went into the tavern to have a drink and a snack. From yep. there on, we were guided towards the bridge here, where we are currently, to look at a board full of different jobs, job descriptions, and that is pretty much where we ended. And off, uh, off screen, we basically chose what we wanted to do first. So which, which, uh, which adventure did you guys want to go down? I know what I want to do. I know what everyone else wants to do. I think we pretty much decided the one that Nex wanted to do, but I definitely wanted to at least also get some information on the Lost Boy, because it might be in the same direction. At least like a name and description and stuff like that. Last scene, etc. I wanted to look at uh, the people whose grain is being stolen because grain is food and food is for everyone and you don't want people starving. Aw oh, man, I'm totally down to go put my speed put my uh put my glaive into uh some monsters. As long as we can hit that at some point. Well, so I'm thinking with any luck maybe the cold the, the goblins are what's stealing the grain and we can kill two birds with one stone. That's up to you guys. So I will bring you back out since you guys kind of have somewhat of a plan. Yeah, most of the uh, most of the uh, quests seem to be from the sergeant something something, right? Yep, you could definitely search out Sergeant uh, Dundragon. Dundragon. Yeah. yeah. He has the lost kid. The um, the goblin problem. And the care night the problem. Also, the thief problem. All, of them. All you have to do is find them. I will ask a random townsperson. Oh, uh, Sergeant Dundragon kind of hangs out by the, uh, the bridge most days. Not this one, the other one. The, down a little block. Thank you, citizen. I'll go down to the bridge. Alright. You guys come up, and there is a... Uh, I'm assuming you're all charming together, because that is what yep, I would yes. assume. Yep. And you come up to a man, he just looks more plain clothes, got some leather armor, and is holding what looks just to be like a club. And on his side, he also has a hip, like um, a short sword, in case things need to get lethal. And as you guys approach, he goes, Ah... Outsiders, a good day. I most don't usually travel unless it's the outer road towards the towards Athana. What can I do for you? 
Greetings to you, oh, martial dude of this flat mountain. We seek to help your tribe out with some issues you've been having. I'll leave the rest of talking to my compatriots, as I am not used to these sorts of diplomatic matters. I... Okay. I, I literally met these uh. people on the road, but it looks like you've got some issues and I got spare time, so... Might as well have oh, it. issues? What issues? Oh, you're here to hunt some monsters, huh? I would have imagined you guys all look so armed to the tooth. As long yeah. as you don't cause trouble in these towns. Wait, can I, want to can I the... like, arm my teeth? <laughs> I... He, he looks a little dumbfounded, like, I don't, I don't know. Can I, can I grab Ravos and drag him out of the conversation? Gramps! Gramps, what do you do? Ah, oh, you never let me have any fun since we met up on the river. Now, you, you shall be the good boy and you should stay back here and let the grown-ups do the talking. I'm actually really interested in, uh, there's a posting about... Some of the grain stores being stolen. We certainly don't want the town running out. The Hendersons! Yeah, their they're grain's getting robbed. Uh, I ain't no animal doing that. Something that keeps popping the latch on their mill outside of town. Uh, if you gotta go look, Henderson, he's a dwarf, lives over yonder. He points literally to the house in front of the token. There's over yonder. You should be able to find one of the Hendersons there. If you don't mind, I would also like to ask about the missing boy. Do you have any information about that? As far as I know, it didn't come to us, but Sally May, over at Sally May's Orphanage on the North Road, uh, apparently they took the boy in for a while before he ran away again, and we only got word that he matched the description. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the goblins, do they happen to be causing an issue in the same direction as the farm? Oh, the goblins are all around these parts. Sometimes you'll find them in the fields, sometimes they sneak their little asses into town trying to steal ho uh, cats and dogs off people's property for food. Uh, just be careful when you go too far out. If you're towards the shepherd's field, just keep an eye out for them canines. Sneaky little things will rip a man in two. The what? Canines. They're about, he like, shows like his height. About this size. Look like dogs. Uh, growl and bark. And they, they uh, they take what they have weapons, so they're not just beasts. Thank you for your time. I'm going to go find the door. Yes, we appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Uh, your name's like... It feels kind of like a one-sided conversation, you hear? He keeps walking. <laughs> not even. I, apolog I apologize for my friend. He's not... Let's say the cleverest. My name is Lysander uh, Altaloon. Thank you. He'll, he'll shake your hand and say, Listen, it ain't the first time adventurers come through these parts and cause trouble. Don't go picking around no no towns in here, you know. I got a sharp eye on outsiders. We are not here to cause any trouble, rather the opposite. Uncause trouble? <laughs> exactly. Help you out. Uncause oh. trouble. Confusing. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, sounds good. And <laughs> I guess you guys will head over to the dwarf. Yes. Yeah. This this little dwarf is sitting outside, and he's petting his little sh a little lamb that he's got on his lap. Uh, Red Red was... I oh no, Grandpa! I... Am I ready? Is he in the kitchen? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think, you can come I with us now. He's in the kitchen now. Are you in the kitchen? <laughs> no, I'm in oh. front of my I'm in oh. front of my computer. She didn't move at all. Oh, sorry, I didn't see the party move in. We're here, bottom left. Uh, okay. no, that's not me. Um, you're here, top right. 
just moved uh, down there. Yes, it's a big map. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a kind of a purse, this man, and he looks like a shepherd. He's got a little pipe sticking out of his mouth. He goes, Well, I'm gonna take a wild guess. You here to find out what the fuck's doing at my mill? Indeed. Pretty much. There's a fox in your mill? There ain't no <laughs> fox. Fox would take the pheasants. Oh, oh, I no. could say, I could use another fox pelt. <laughs> I look good. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Listen, Damn man. Now. I I get you a fox pelt. You find what's taking my grain on my mill. Head out yonder. Make sure you don't disrupt the workers too hard, okay? And he points out literally in this direction. Uh, out, out west. Just kind of like the, uh, What was your first name, sir? Mine? Oh man, you could call me, uh, Nate. <laughs> Nate Henderson. Yeah. I go up I, to, to, to I shake to... his hand. Good to meet you, he, Nate. My name is Lysa. He returns to shake as the sheep next him goes, Bleh! Is the, uh, is the fox belt, is that on top of the bonus, or the, the bounty that you put up on the board? Look, I'm getting tired of it. Uh, yeah, I'll throw the fox pelt on top. Excellent. We that's appreciate a, your generosity. Thank you. That's a very good deal indeed. We'll go check it out, okay? Don't is worry, there we a got particular this. particular time of day that you notice this happening? Like, is it fine by lunch, but not fine by dinner? Or... It's towards the evening, no doubt. Back when we make him supper. We'll hear some rustling, go check it out in the woods, because you never know what gobs are out there. Got my men armed with some crossbows. We'll take some pop shots once in a while. But uh, then we come back and the latch's been popped. Have you, and something's uh, made off with uh, not even that much, like a small sack of grain. Have you ever uh, seen anything? You said you're taking some pot shots. I got two eyes, brother. Seen a lot of things. What you talking about? Have seen gobs. Seen, seen canines. Seen children. Seen the foxes, hens, bear. What do you want? I was thinking if you've seen the thing opening the uh, the green storage. No, no, no. Oh, here. He hands you a fox trap. It's, like, it's got. If it's small feet, it's gonna get trapped in there. Just set it up. Tell my boys I gave it to you. Thank you. That is very nice of you. I am... Uh, we are going to leave now. Uh, could you take care of Agneta while we're gone? And I Who's Agneta? Dog. Her? To the mm. Sure. And he'll get up and he'll go over and scratch under Agneta's uh, chin. And we'll see how well he does to... I don't want her to get hurt. Uh, she immediately rears up and uh, trots back over to you. Ah, uh, stubborn mule, ain't she? Yes, uh, she is, but she's a beautiful beast. Uh, How if much she you doesn't want, want to come, Three she, gold? she doesn't... Sorry? Three gold. Uh, How much you want for her? She's not for sale, sir. I'm sorry to say, but she's the... She's the soul and beauty of my life. <laughs> Let me know when she's dead, I'll buy the meat. <laughs> this mule looks like it fell out of the ugly tree, didn't learn its lesson the first time, climbed up again, then fell out a second time, and then landed in the ugly bush. Um, when, we're, uh, when we're leaving, I wanna I wanna do druidcraft and make uh, like out out of his sight. Obviously, I wanna I wanna make what's the weeds, right? It's called weeds. Like yeah. the thing you don't want in your garden. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make those. You're going to okay. Make you That's have grab some weeds. <laughs> and then I'm leaving. This guy insulted Agneta. How dare he? <laughs> oh, I swear you did. <laughs> he didn't insult it. He said he wanted it. 
He uh, said when she dies, she's never gonna die. She's invulnerable. Have you seen her? She's going to die. Like, I'm casting fire. She battles. has a full 8 HP. I she's do, never going to die. I do more than 8 HP with my non Did we take a long rest since last session? Where's the, yes. Where's the middle oh. area supposed to be here? No, actually you haven't because no. you only got right. from the post. Oh. This, it's just weed out there. What are you guys walking through people's farms for? Well, you I said it was where, this way. The, where's the thing? Where'd you point there? It's it's west. Here. You oh, gotta leave before town. Before we do that, I wanna first uh, check out the uh, the one in the north for the kid. Ooh, out. yeah, it might be the kid. If we were talking about that in Discord for the viewers. So we can first go be. to the to the orphanage and then check that out, and then we can go check out the grain. I mean, right now it's round noon. Uh, so we're gonna have to spend some time anyway. I mean, like some of us go on long rest, and some of us go look at the orphanage. Yeah, yeah I need sure. to take a long rest. I it's abused some spells. Oh, right. I also yeah, abused all my spells. You guys took a long rest sleeping at that camp when I found you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was point. There, I, I didn't know. We Why held. do I have one damage then? Uh, you made a stupid joke afterwards. Oh <laughs> right, I took one you psychic did. damage. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, then so, th then we don't need to. Let's go to the orphanage. You're, you're free right. to do that. We are technically not a party yet. So I'm going to go to the mill. I don't care about the kid. I'm going to the mill. Uh, Revos, where do you go? Do you go to the mill or are you going to the orphanage? You're muted again. <laughs> I'm going to uh, unmute myself, then I'm going to make my way over to the mill. All right, we will go first to the people traveling to the orphanage. Uh, as you approach, you guys see this is almost like a three story tall. Maybe it was once a big barn, but it's been converted into a small housing. And as you guys are kind of approaching this, two young girls come out and they stand out there and go, can we help you? Yes, we are here to actually help you. Um, we read on the board that there was a boy missing. Can we get any more information about that? We'd like to help. What about? Well, I mean, a description of him. Where was he last seen? Do you know anything yeah. about him more name? The sergeant said that you used to house him here, but then he ran away from home. Yeah, this is... I'm Sally, this is May, and we run Sally May's Orphanage. How old are they? Uh, they look to be about 14 and 12. I get the kids. That's interesting. Look, kids gotta watch out for kids. Yeah, and they I make, appreciate you uh, they make helping good farm out your fellow, uh, your fellow children to, uh, to make sure that everyone has a home. Listen, I don't know what happened to little Johnny. I think that's the boy that they were talking about. Uh, he was just a ran... He just ran from everything. He tried to keep him in the orphanage. He wouldn't want to do that. Tried to send him out on one of the farms to do some honest work. Doesn't want to do that. Just would go do his own thing in town. And eventually we just told him, like, Hey, get out. You're not making any money for us. Why are we feeding and clothing you? I understand. Do, did he happen to say why he didn't want to do anything? Was he mumbling? Did he say anything out of the ordinary? Look, I got 12 kids in there I watch over. If one of them acts up, I don't know. I, I understand. Um, could you maybe ask the kids? Alright, I'll ask them. Later. Any information? They have to get, when they get back from work or having supper, you yeah, could stop on by. Sounds Knock amazing. before you even come through, though. Before I come through? Uh, where do well, I don't want... Is there, like, just... a gate I need to knock on? She she kind of shows you right into the entryway, where you kind of see a few uh, dogs are kind of just laying around. And, you know... She, uh, where, she points uh... to the door right at the end of, like, the entryway. W one last question. Um... John, this Johnny boy, where did you have him working? Or uh, not working, since so, he didn't do anything? 
We try to mal the farm, we try to help the Fletcher, and we try to help him out with old Grin and his shop. Not even, um, not even the little folk would take him. And, and he, he loves... Refuse? Did he refuse uh, to work, or what happened? He doesn't listen. What do you mean? Just doesn't you tell do him to pick up this hoe and hoe the field. And he pick up the hoe, kinda half-ass it, and then they send him away. Because they don't want no half-assed work. I understand. So he basically was able to follow the instructions just to a lesser extent. Exactly. So I'm not sure what else I can help you with. This uh, oh, farm no. he worked at, what was it called? He worked at the Hendersons, the Johnsons, and I think a Tuck's old farm on the opposite side. None of them would have him. Ah, I I just remind okay, myself. Um, you have not yet given a description. Could you please describe him for us? Uh, she gives you a brief description that you kind of saw on the board, which is like a kid, uh, basically raggedy hair, looks a little he, like malnourished. Doesn't okay. seem to have eaten a lot, and his hands and feet are blistered because, by what she says, uh, he doesn't. He's probably not a working kid. Hair color height. Uh, brown hair. Kid height three foot. I don't know. Age. Around eight. Okay. I think we should leave now, Mister Lysander. So. Uh... Are you ready? We appreciate your uh, your assistance, and we will come back later. Thank you. All right. See you then. All right. And then and... we head off to the to the grains as well. Just for the time what? being, only the three people will have. Uh, any indication uh, but before that as you guys are approaching I'll show you what you do see before really walking up you can kind of make out the shape of the mill and as you start approaching one two three people And a half bird, yeah. Flying fox with wi fox with wings. Yeah. It went black again. Oh, the map, yeah, because uh, I, I I changed the layer. Uh, to back, right? Uh, to back. Uh, I still see black. Did I, uh... You can refresh if you want, but... Hold on, I'll refresh. See what happens. Legacy lighting? I don't know. No, hold on one second. It's gonna look like crap, but... It's not it's updating on my end. What? What? What's a Don't worry about it. <laughs> ah, yes, it's the oh. I, I know what I did. Okay. That's it. It was on the wrong layer. See, I helped. There we go. By creating other confusion, it alleviated the first confusion. <laughs> that is exactly what you see as you walk up. It, it's on the right layer now. Uh, Sildor revels in Xerthus. As you're approaching, you can kind of see the middle is slowly turning away. Okay. I don't think it's black for you. You should be on the right layer. Or... Yeah, I... Yep. Yeah, is it I'm completely like walls, black? Walls are doing a thing. I can see, but walls are doing the shadow. Yeah, the walls are blocking, but... 
I don't see anything. I'll refresh again. Yeah, I'll try that. You're not seeing over anything over there? Sorry to pull it's out everyone's thing. Now. Okay. Alright, as you guys are kind of approaching in, you hear this voice go, Hey! Who goes there? Uh, oh, hmm. hey, hey! Look at you! I'm Sildor. Yeah, look it. We're coming to see if we can't figure out who's been jacking your grade. Who sent you? Your boss. What's his name? Hendrik? Hand, Handy? Handjob? What's his name? Nate. Nate. Ah, <laughs> oh, Nate. Yeah, uh, sorry. <clears throat> My name's Pooch. Pooch Henderson. Henderson, that's the name I was thinking. Yeah, you met my brother. Come on in. Hey, make yourself at home. And he kind of uncuffs or unbolts his crossbow that he has on him. Uh, come on in. So, you, you see we got the two houses. Uh, there's my boys are in there. You got Jordy Mitch and Lick here. Lick here. That, uh, I don't know. It's a damn human's name. It's a damn human's name. Well, what you guys think it is? Probably some gobs, in my opinion. Damn thing's been everywhere. I mean, it's certainly a possibility. I'd like to... Where, where's this latch? Where's where's the door? Oh, yeah. Well, it's on the mill. You, you know, it's over it's here on the mill. None of bad boys. And he'll uh, go ahead and with a little, like, uh... He's got like a little um, iron uh, bar, and he reaches through the door and kind of plops it up. And it seems to take some force as he opens it up. I want to check around the door to see if I can't find a footprint that doesn't look like it belongs to a human or a... Uh, there are several footprints back and forth. It seems like the mill is being regularly used. And even the mud around you, you can just see dozens of footprints. To and fro, left, right, uh, cartwheels going through the area, drag marks of probably grain getting pulled in. I guess with that crappy roll, I can't, uh... It may be that my character is currently not on the field, because I still don't see anything. Uh, you should be able to. Let me check your character, make sure they have vision. Oh, that's fun. They don't have any vision. Nice. Well, that explains something. There you go. That's a lot better. Thank you. Right. So it's in here. It's where we keep the grain. I am just not investigating well today. Our uh, uh, presence, since we're on the. It's in a goblin idea. Can I use investigation to see if this would look like something goblins are capable of doing? Yeah. Well, using past experiences and plus five. Yeah. Uh, you're just, you're kind of out of your element at the moment. The noise of the window, window graining, like, grain behind it just kind of deafens over and as you're kind of looking around it kind of unnerves you especially saying like it, you know just the noise and everything kind of overwhelming your senses and there's even like uh dusting as the flower in here being ground is just kind of filtering into the air what's all this this is grain some of it's flower some of it's on un ground unbuilt I mean, where, where where's all your people to grind it up? The three boys are outside. Just us uh, four. Burgundy Heart has raided the stream. Ah, okay. Hey, Berg. That's a lot of grain for three people to make. The rain mill does a lot. How are you doing? I'm thinking... What, the big... The big leaves outside on the house. He, he points up to the, like the shaft. Yeah, the windmill. 
We have grill. Oh, this is neat. Okay. And someone followed. So I'm not sure what you. Yeah. Nate said he was gonna go buy something out in the market. Did, oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. did he hand it to you? I think Revos probably has it. I I don't recall taking anything. Uh, we have uh, was it that fox crab. I believe uh, Husbjorn has taken it. Husbjorn has it, yes. And he's not there yet. At that time, you hear a voice guy, Hey boss, uh, some some others are showing on up here. Friends of yours? If they have the ugliest mule you've ever seen, then yes. I don't know, she's kind of pretty. What? Do you have to pull the Agnetha? Uh, so you can like die at night. I gotta go check it out, and then they'll, as this time, Lysander and Husbjorn are moving their way up. Hey, Alright. Hello, people cool. who are a part of the raid. Let's go. Hello, Hello there. I wave from afar. Episode 1 of the first campaign. We are uh, here to investigate the grain. Good day. Apparently, some of our colleagues are already here. Yeah, they're inside the mill of Pooch. Can you point us the way? They all kind of look at the mill. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it because of the blackness. Oh, all right. yeah. Sorry, you should have seen it on the yeah the thing yeah, standing up way. Uh, right there. Can't are we just allow to move. Thank you. Hear them twice. Yeah. Can't miss Back. it. Sometimes Thank you times. very much. Where's the entrance? There. I'm just gonna leave Agneta here and let her do her own thing. Yeah, where is this the entrance? Oh, it is. Agneta! Don't eat anything not bad. Do we have to roll in Agneta Handley? No, she's just gone off to do her own thing. Okay. Uh, the right, door is open. Inside. And then Pooch goes, ah, good, more people. Alright, so what's the plan? The plan is to find whatever is uh, stealing your grain and stopping we, it. We do have that trap, but I'm thinking, obviously whatever's taking it needs a way in and out. So all the time something's been stolen, what's happened? What do you mean, what's happened? Where have you been? Where has the grain stored? Is there a specific Was there anything there? done with the locks? Some stuff like that. Well, we've been sealing it from the inside nowadays. And it still gets in? Ah, something's smart enough to poke the damn latch. Yeah. That's how we know it ain't no, uh... Ain't no animal. I think what we can do is we can... Uh, does it come here every day? I, I don't mean... In, in here, I mean, you have walls around this like it's a small fortress, so how is it getting within your walls? Is there, is there only two ways in? Assuming it isn't vaulting over the walls? It is, yeah, as far as we know, it's just two ways. Look around here, I mean, you got sizes for rabbits and whatnot, but nothing crawling under those walls ain't no big, big enough. Alright, so if we get eyes on the mill and eyes on the walls... And uh, wait for something to happen, and we have to be able to see it coming in. I could um, recommend that we have somebody inside of the grain storage. We have that so trap when they... too, right? Yeah, but the trap could hurt whatever it is. Will it? It's a yeah. bear trap. It's a fox trap, but it, if it's small enough, it will punk. Well, it will definitely puncture skin, and you know, cut up people's beat and you know rip up a tendon you know all that stuff if it is um, the uh, the thing we think it is we probably shouldn't use the trap at all i think what we should do is we should have somebody hide inside the grain storage what and then we can all i don't have any idea well my uh, my current theory is that the uh, the perpetrator could be the same kid that is missing because he worked at this farm. That's a thought. I, I'm guessing you guys are saying this out loud. Yeah. What what kid? Oh, you're talking about that little bastard Timothy. Uh if he's yeah, the one wrecking my grain. Uh, was whatever. it Johnny? 
I wrote down Johnny. <laughs> yeah, it's Johnny. Couldn't yeah. care less what the kid's name is. If it's him, I'm gonna put a bolt in his back. No, you won't. This is my property. And what I see is a thief. We're not saying it's him. We're just doing a double investigation. I have a good one, Bert. Nice if it is him, nice we'll take care everybody. of it with law enforcement. <laughs> I don't know where you think you are. There ain't no law here except the sergeant. And whatever you can protect yourself with. Yep, and the sergeant asked you to find the kid alive, so uh, you'll have to take that with him. Nah, if he survives the bolt, he survives enough. Hey, Chris. Does D and D logic follow regular logic, where if I lose fire in the room full of grain dust, then it explodes? I would say no, because magic. Oh. Just, just making sure I'm not casting fire spells around, accidentally blow up this man and all my party. All right. Well, we got right. some milling to do. Y'all can do whatever you need to do. I'm gonna get going. You, you need to okay. get aerosol into the fire. To, into the wheat to make it fireball, like you'd have to air cannon it. I think no, we all I'm, agree. Flour is extremely flammable, and this is a. Oh, this is a grain, not flour, my But yeah. I believe we all agree that if it is the kid, we do not hurt him, right? No. Uh, obviously, we're not going to kill a kid, so we'd have to get our hands on him and take him to the. Yes. Dude. But if it's a goblin, then fuck it, it's going to die. Hurt and kill are two different things. Yeah, if you, if you hurt the kid, then you're a bad person, alright? What's up this ladder presence? Or Mill. Mill. How okay. does that make me a bad person? Do you store the grain inside of the mill, or do you store it somewhere else? It's stored in here, right? Yeah, they have milled and unmilled grain in there. Alright. Okay, somebody should be in here, behind the lock. Wait, how did they lock it from the inside? Sorry. Maybe that's a stupid question. You can see a small string that seems to be attached to the wooden block that is on this side of the door right here. Basically, okay. if you pull the string, it locks. I think somebody and should then... be in here waiting for whatever it is. And the rest of us can probably just sit outside. Who has the shittiest stealth score? I mean, who's really bad at hiding? <laughs> I'll, I'll sit here. I Let will sit. I have a, a I have a minus one in stealth. Let's have Hobie oh. in here. I have a plus five. I think I'm pretty good. Wh whoever is the shittiest at hiding should be in the mill. I think Agnetha is really bad at hiding, so maybe me and Agnetha stay in here, but she'll probably eat all the grain. Uh, I got a zero. Can you? I mean, I can, like. Rebo I almost said Jaren. Rebos is just kind of like looking up like the mill and the like the workings and say, I can probably hop up there. What is uh, what is your stealth, Mr. Ravos? I mean, I'm just a plus one. Yeah, I'm a minor. I think I should be in the middle, but that means I need to have. Can you guys take care of Agneta? Probably not, right? Sure. I Take care of her. <laughs> no, okay, fuck yeah. Agneta! I, I go out and shout to Agneta to come here. You, you hear a little noise coming from this way. From what way? South. Oh god, oh god, oh god. She is Agneta. launching on some carrots when she turns Agneta, around. Over here. <laughs> no carrots, oh Bad girl. Raises cane and diamond. I can take care of it. I would like to investigate the entire fence line for any hole that's bigger than they. Agneta, have. come over here. Do I need to she's do a... You have to open up the gate because she's not going to. Wait, how did she go over? She jumped. <laughs> okay. Wait, jump where's back. the fence gate? Ah, uh, right there. You open it up and then Agneta comes out. Okay. Uh, munching on the carrot still in his in his mouth. I'm gonna take the carrot, and I'm gonna give her a mushroom instead. <laughs> That's bad for you, Agneta. Do not eat the green, the, the orange stuff, okay? You and me, she we're gonna help. Munch the mushroom. 
and follow after you for the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> as for can... Sildar, as he is uh, investigating the perimeter fence, he you can find what looks to be. I don't know, it's kind of weird if you didn't notice, but there are lines. And it's not just like, oh, a line. It is like almost irregular lines. Like ones that kind of like twist and shape in regular patterns. But you can't really discern what pattern that is or what it says. Where do I find this? Uh, around the outside, it marked in the soil, you can kind of see these little lines, and other than, okay, something that's just, you know, dug it up, you kind of realize it's not something that just dug it up, because they're so straight. Uh, we don't have a Jaren to tell me what the thieves can't mean. Uh... It is, uh, definitely does not look like thieves can't in your investigation. Is there... Using that, like, does it seem like it points somewhere, or does it seem like it might be marking this spot? They, they almost look like symbols rather than directions. Alright, and then what's what's this section of the fence like? Can I shake a board? Does it look like a piece comes off? Is there like a rope hanging somewhere? It's regular to relatively sturdy. I mean, if you're small enough, you might be able to scrum underneath, but you would have to be like a rabbit or a mouse or something of that size. Maybe a fox? could get under, but, you know, a child or a goblin? No. They would have to go around or over. You don't really see any markings like handholds or anywhere where maybe pittance were put in where goblins could climb over. Could he roll for what that language would be? Hey, hey Zirthus, you seem like an educated man. Does this mean anything to you? I will walk over. Um, I don't know. Present, so am I supposed to be rolling to see if it means anything? Uh, roll me Arcana, actually. 14. You know places that, uh... They call them sigils. Maybe it's a sigil, but just looking at it, it doesn't seem like a sigil. It kind of looks like random lines. Uh, but it's typically used by witches and, uh, you know more of herbalists and apothecaries and people who think gemstones heal your body. I use my staff and I scrape one of the sigils or could be sigils out. You do just that. Nothing really seems to happen. Oh, that's not that. You should have asked me. I think it might be druidic, but that's too late. It don't matter. It's gone now. Yeah. <laughs> There's not just one. Well, one just, gone. Just FYI, I automatically spot such a message. So, what? Druidic, Dru Druidic, they can like leave magic marks, and other Druids automatically sign it if they're close. That's if it's, that's if it's Druidic. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. You, I'm just saying for presence, if it is. You don't notice anything Druidic about it. Does, okay. Does you, you didn't sense anything. Do anything. Ah, uh, you know about the much Azurthus. I go into the grain storage. You want to help me scratch them all out? Oh yeah. Well, let's all see right. if the owners know what this is. Maybe it's protecting their farm. Eh, I doubt. Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, you you kind of see the smokestack rising from the north. And that's probably your best guess of where they are. So they're eating dinner right now? Yeah, it's getting about that time. They're starting up their supper. Okay. Wait, this Marley. is the time where we normally have them where the grain is normally stolen, so Yeah, I'm gonna lock the sh I'm gonna lock the shed you guys hide. Hey, Wait, hey what's going on? Do, do you guys use any kind of sigils to help your farm, protect your farm? Sigils? Found a bunch no. of magical sigils around your wall. Some devilries going on, that's what it sounds like. Alright. Hey, 
Xerthus. They're not his. I'm, I'm, I was still going, just using my foot and just wiping them off. For you, since you're doing all that, you notice, and right next to you, I'll put it, you notice most of them look like this. In shape. Like what? Where? I don't see anything. Preserve this. Uh, he's gonna stop, oh. take out a book, open it, and sketch the symbol real quickly, close book, and continue scraping them out. Alright, so are we hiding or what? I'm, I'm hiding already. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna find a place to. I'm gonna go in the bush too, as well. That's, probably that's, best that's I, I, that's a tree that I'm gonna climb up and just sit in. Oh, definitely gonna join you then. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not Darathor, but that's a Darathor number right there. <laughs> right. Right. Got a 19 on the die, damn. I'll assume I have to roll stealth for Agneth and me, right? Yeah. Like, for sound stuff? Well, I mean, the mill's light. Yeah. Uh, as you guys kind of watch, it does get quite a bit darker. Guys, look at this awesome stealth roll right here. You ready? Yeah, as the sun kind of sets. I don't have dark vision, Lysander, so this is all on you. Don't forget my, oh. my, my vision. Oh yeah. So, before uh, I climb into the tree, I give Sildor, uh, yeah. Revels, and Xerthus, because I can do the amount of my uh, wisdom modifier, so which is three. I give them all my dark vision, so everybody. Yeah, I also have dark vision. Uh, yes, but the three of them now have three hundred feet of dark vision. What the Damn. hell are you? He's what? a twilight cleric. Level awesome. one power creep right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, but first and I. Oh, and it lasts for an hour, by the way. What's going on? I don't have dark vision at the moment, so I can't see shit. Uh, your race doesn't get dark vision. Oh, right, because I'm a mild dwarf. Okay, I'm gonna light. No, wait. Can I light the torch in here? No. He said it won't no. explode, right? It's still a. You're in a, wooden... <laughs> you're in a wooden building with flammable materials and you want to light a torch. Okay. So she is trying is to be stealthy. a lantern or a candle or something around? You're trying to be yeah, stealthy. I... I say sure. I'm sure you you shut the door, so. Yeah, I mean, if, if they're in here, I, I was gonna look for like floorboards or something. If there's some way in without, yeah. actually, never mind, because they said they opened the door. They said they opened the door without it, so uh, I'll sh I'll do an investigation. Sure, that's a uh, not twenty twenty two. You notice not only is there one floorboard that moves. You notice on the other side that it is kind of enough to squeeze through if you were small enough. And on the other side, it seems to be stuffed with moss and clippings. Almost to disguise itself. Okay. And it's around that time that you're looking in there that you notice it getting pulled and moved. Okay, I'm gonna ready my staff. And I'm gonna. Whatever comes out of there, I'm gonna. hit it with my stick. Or I could just move the For everyone else, Siltor and the rest, you suddenly hear this crackle and snap outside as these people start rushing on out. They go, what? What is that? It's here. Quick. And then they will start running. Where, where the fuck is everyone? And then they'll, they'll move on out and go rush into the woods. I I'm just gonna remove my dark vision. Move myself over here. Assuming I can keep my 21. It's Bjorn. It's something dark because it's kind of dark in here, even with a little bit of candlelight. It starts poking his head out. And you see these glowing, like almost bright circles, like a um, hollow circle, like just the rings, kind of look up at you. As it hisses. Can I do a nature check on it? You use your reaction, because that's what you readied your action to do. 
Okay, sure. I'll hit him with my stick. Back away. Oh, hit him. Oh, wait. What even is that icon? Uh, <laughs> 10. Eight. You, uh, you hit him with 10, and it crumples and lays there half in the hole. I'm gonna drag it out and look at it. Uh, it is bleeding from the head. It looks I'm... like some kind of... Its skin is almost like murky in a sense. It's got black, brown hair, looks to be about eight years old. Maybe it's like a small kid, like eight years old. But mm -hmm. its hair is much longer and it's sprouting from different pores on its body. But other than that, you really can't see too much. Yeah, I did a nature check and I failed, Mr. Revo, Zerthus, and Lysander, make me a little, uh, roll. Uh, perception. Not me. Perception. Uh, you were sneaking around. Yeah, I'm gonna just open the door for them. 21. Yep, you, you heard something, and Sildor, you can kind of see what looks like clippings from before are kind of pulled out and there's a hole there. I go, guys, they're inside already. Let's I'm go. gonna shout. I, see I got the guy. I think it's the kid. Yes, you see blistered feet. Pull the feet. Do we roll for an? No wait, are you pulling him out? No, no, don't pull him out. Are you healing him? Suddenly, suddenly the thing is getting pulled away from you. <laughs> Maybe it's slinking back down his burrow. I'm gonna pull him back. <laughs> uh, Sildor, this, this, as you try to pull it, it seems to pull away from you. Uh, I need you <laughs> both to make me a strength check uh, against athletics? each other. Uh, yes. Uh, Sildor, it's only the, the feet, they slip right inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the kid a magic mushroom. A.K.A. Uh, a berry. Good berry. Uh, he, he is unconscious and bleeding from the head. Okay, I'm gonna do a medicine check to get him conscious. Wait, so we're not moving at all at this point, still? You guys can move, you guys definitely heard that they were inside. I'm a I asked if you we were gonna roll for initiative or something. But... Uh, no, okay. no, I, I got him in one hit, I'm so... I'm a, I'm a uh, can I, can I like, I sew up his head with my... I'm gonna go inside. Do, like, I am opening the door, I go inside. Lysander, you, the door is locked from the inside, how are you opening it? Oh, good point. I go, I knock on the door and go... Uh... Hey, here's Bjorn. Is everything okay in there? Something Everything happened. is alright, I'm just hailing the lad, okay? <laughs> and then I continue... Can I'm... you open the door, please? I can help. I poked my head oh, that's a good point! You're the, you're, you're the Healy magic. <laughs> I'm gonna open the door. <laughs> alright, door gets open. And what did you want to do, uh, Sildor? I, I poked my head in the hole. I mean, what do I see? Uh, it is a very cramped hole, but you can kind of see some candlelight from the room. Lysander, you better heal this. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, some sort of uh, shapeshifty kid. I think it's the kid, but he's like cursed or something. Alright, give me a second. He might be so like I a werewolf. I, I'm not really sure how a werewolf looks like, but... Uh, is I he literally that's... bleeding out? He is I... definitely bleeding out from I... what looks to be an injury on his head. I hit him really hard in the head. I was scared. He had... We weird eyes, okay? Just Bjorn, hold him, please. I I and hold him. Start start taking out your rope to uh, to tie him up, while I give him. A... No, no, no. He... We don't need to tie the kid up. I'm sure he's fine. T please tie him up for me. No. Do I hear stuff? Then. <laughs> yeah, you hear all of this. I'd be like, tie the damn thing up, and I'm gonna go move around to the door. <laughs> All the people went out one exit. I'm looking out that way and seeing if I hear any of it. Just, just fix the kid, Lysander, okay? Uh, sir, uh, you, you guys back hear, off. You hear some crossbow shots. Is there more kids? I... Use a healing word, I guess. I... You don't need to? Oh, okay. Why do I no need to? Because I'm gonna throw I need to rush. I need to be right back. Yeah, sure. Sorry, what did you say next? You don't need to, because I'm going to throw a d6 of healing at him. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to keep Wait, my spell. what? 
ignore the healing. And I give him one. Fuck yeah. This is nice. Wait, what are you healing with, him with? With my ability. With my what? latent ability. What the fuck are you? Excellent. Are you? Leave it be. I'll explain if he wants to. Okay. What the fuck? I so the I kid fight. heals, and I start grabbing the rope from my back and start tying him up. Hey, Ravos, uh, we like have to wait for Crescent shots out there. Wait, what? There's crossbows getting shot outside. Don't call the kid up. Who's getting shot outside? I don't know. You don't hear those crossbows going off? Man, I've already moved. <laughs> do, do you like their crossbows? Press got up and left. Pre Press said that the, we could hear the crossbows getting fired up. Yeah, I could because I'm outside. I'm, I'm going to the bathroom too. Oh, it's probably those damn farmers. They 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 all got scared off and ran to the woods. As I lie to you, I lie. Oh, they were right here. Oh, there they are. I long you down. <laughs> In the back, and they go. What? Oh, yeah. Did you see it? Did you see it out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 got it. It's it, it's it's fine. Everything's fine now. We're all fine here now. Yeah, fine. Nick's apparently. How are you? I we're good. Oh, you got it. Oh, that's excellent. They start rushing on back with you. I... I'm gonna place Agneta here, right in the way. Tie they up the kid. The... Yeah, can put, can we put the kid on Agneta? He's probably light enough. It has one health. It was healed by Sildor. Yep. And I tie it up. Alright, he is restrained. Is he, uh, is he conscious? Uh, he is conscious, his head wound has stopped bleeding, and it kind of looks at you and hisses, and just starts going, Shash, get to check. What, do I know what language that is? I know... Can we hear that outside? Yep. I know Elvish, Common, and Celestial, is it? Yeah, I know... <laughs> I know okay. Dwarvish Gnomish. <laughs> um, presence, is it common Dwarvish, Elvish, Goblin, or Orc? None. Or Celestial. Okay. Nope. I'm learning three more languages. Is it Donkey? <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I figured. It's magic. Yeah, I'm gonna put the kid on Agneta, and then I'm gonna tell Agneta to uh, protect the kid. And then we go. Can you... I can't move the kid, so... Can you like... Uh, yeah. He's gonna follow along. Uh, but we'll wait for Sildor to get back. Okay. Hey, killed all you... Are you alright? I'm gonna give him a mushroom. He's probably gonna bite me, but... I can make ten of them, so... I'm gonna give him a put a mushroom near his mouth. Here you go, lad. Or oh, sorry, here you go, lad. It is me, who's Bjorn. Spits it out. That was a very good mushroom, you know. You, you didn't have to do that. And like um, high quality mushroom right there. He was Bjorn, you're gonna need to make a perception check. Yes, sir. Uh, you notice Agneta has just started rummaging into your pocket to get to the carrot. <laughs> Agneta! You can have the carrot when we're when we're done with this job, okay? Can I see if she got that? Looks angry, pissed off. <laughs> Not too happy. It'll uh, be like an hour, okay, Agneta? You'll have the carrot in an hour. Is that okay? I'm gonna it eat costs. one of my mushrooms to heal myself. I'm, I'm back, what happened? Uh, they tied it up, they healed it, and they put it on Agneta's back, and the other people came back when they heard that you had captured it. Wait, they, they healed it more, or just the healing of it? No, just your healing. Just yours. He didn't want my mushroom, sadly. Right. Uh, okay. I'm gonna... What is this? Hey, can I, 
Is it, like, should yeah, I you can do a nature check. Thing, I tried, but I failed miserably, so... No, I have not tried yet. What, what check would I do? Arcana, nature? If you're proficient in nature, maybe you can figure out if it's diseased or what happened? Bloody. I am proficient in nature. Wait, it's... you have a better plus in nature than I do. <laughs> Sildor, it is not natural. Whatever is affecting this kid is not natural. Yeah, Sildor, can you go you out and make do... sure that... You do know that he's probably been cursed in some way if you want to make an arcana. Can I do a uh, medicine check? Uh, yeah, you can roll with medicine. 20 in arcana doesn't do Not very much. Uh, but well, I, was just, I was just answering that. For Sildor, uh, this, is, this is definitely a powerful curse. It can only really be done by those who practice witchery magic, but the darker version of it. There are good witches out there, but there are those who do things like this. Though you can't quite determine what it's being turned into. Can I recognize if the kid is the same from the poster? You said he, he was looks the same. The same. Okay. Uh, see Except uh, for for Lysander, you notice that. <laughs> His body is being changed. Oh dear. You, you almost see sharper claws, beadier, more nocturnal eyes, uh, hair, and underneath his hair there are two small bones protruding out. Okay. Uh... Are there any good witches in town? Yeah, we should get this check to the magician's house. Sealed her. Can you go out and make sure the farmers won't bother us transporting the kid? Where's Ravos? We don't want them to kill him, okay? Give me a sack. <laughs> right? This place got sacks, right? They're an empty sack around. Uh, 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 sack. I just take a take a whole grain sack and just try to dump it out. What, <laughs> it, <laughs> I could have just one. made one. We ha I have a backpack. <laughs> We're not shoving the kid in your backpack. I see, I see the Revels do that and I go, Revels, he means an empty one that's not filled yet. So why did you put that one down and we'll just grab this one? And I grab one from a shelf that's empty. This one's not filled. After, <laughs> you know, I dumped everything out. <laughs> I bag the kid, or try to bag the kid. Presence? Uh, he's restrained already, so you do so. Cool. Right. Um, I, t I take the, 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 literally the kid sacked, nap, sacked, <laughs> the, since it's a, since it's a kidnapping sack, so it's a, it's a nap sack. It's a nap sack. There we go. Take the nap. All right, I take the kid with me. No, the kid nap sack. The donkey. Can't do that. Uh, Where is this guy? Have... Anyway? One took pouch off, of don't... kid. One pouch of kid on Ramos, and then uh, I'll tell the guy. Uh, I found out. We found out how it got in here. Come take a look. And uh, he'll come looking in and go, "Oh, come where did it come from?" Point out the hole. Yeah, so uh, uh, I was in here, and with my smart wits, I found this, um, it had been uh, digging bastard. this hole for quite so a So what was it? Uh, uh, we're not entirely it's... sure. It warrants Where is it? further investigation. Um, I'm gonna tie the, the sack to one of the blades of the windmill. No, wh what? what the fuck? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, one of the blades of the windmill is 20 feet in the air. Yeah, and there's been. Oh, it doesn't come close to the ground. What? No, oh, it's we're, we're, it's a tall wooden mill. We're, we're investigating oh. this thing. <laughs> you see this? And I walk over. Right yeah, Mister Mister Root, we are going to handle what this is. We think it's the killed, but he's been cursed. We're gonna mm -hmm. figure it out, and we're gonna make sure he comes home, and he's safe, and he's not cursed anymore, and you won't have a trouble anymore. You're telling me it's a damn curse, kid? All right, I'll get the fire ready. No, 
No, you won't. Listen, you ain't from around these parts. Ain't no good things come from curses. Exactly because we are not from around these parts that we know how to deal with this. We Allow have to live differently, and since we have the job, we're taking him to the sergeant, and he'll have to deal with it. You can talk to him. Follow you then. Ain't no good thing come from cursing. Let's go. Yeah. I can't see shit out here. Am I supposed to not be? It's dark. Oh, okay. <laughs> Revos, if you want. Revos, put the bag on Agneta, please. Revos, we're taking that thing in town. Let's go. Alright, I gingerly place the sack on Agneta. Okay. And you guys head back to town? Yep. Yes, sir. Alright. Uh, it's a couple, it's an hour or two, or it's, you know, half hour down the road when you guys come to this dark, um, you're on the dark side of the road, uh, walking on down when you do hear some rustling about. I cast There's... light on top of the donkey's head. Oh, the... Isn't it non-organic or non-living? Yeah, it needs to be or not organic. I cast light on... You can do it on the sack, I think. Nah, kid I don't sack. Make this. Actually, screw it. Yeah, the sack will glow. God, I can't control the kid. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll you have to move Agnetta with me since you can move the kid too. Well, Agnetta operates on her own. Uh, what's light do? Was it 30 feet? Uh, where the hell are my spells? Cantrip, action, hour, touch, 20 foot sphere. Just 20 foot of bright light, nothing yeah, else? Bright light, uh, touch an object, uh, size limitation, but the sack fits. It's 20 foot bright light, 20 foot uh, The light, light can be colored, so I'm gonna make it blue, cause fuck yeah. Uh, and that's it, yeah, it's just bright light. It's bright light and dim light, right? It's dim light, it's 20 feet. It's make green, it green, that's something. easier on the eyes, under it might. Especially in foresty areas. What? Green is better for night light. Oh, alright, it's green. Okay. I don't think Presence can make it green, can he? I can't change the tint. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, who's it. out there? Can you please step out? You hear this? <laughs> and inside the sack, you can almost hear the same. <laughs> There seems to be multiple cursed kids. Do I see anything? With a do I roll a perception check or something? You could roll perception. Three. So. Can I non-lethal Fonzie the sack just to knock it out? Uh, it's only got one health, so you could just roll whack it once. Two. Yep, non-lethal, just boop. Uh, but... Come on, stop moving, this stupid damn thing. Agneta will take care of the kid, guys. They won't have a Uh, let's find out if you see anything. Uh, right now, you don't notice much. Really? Okay. Yes, really. God. Though I think they each need to make one. They have better stuff than a 17? Gosh, we're, we're screwed, guys. I got a 21 on perception. I can't see for shit though, cause I'm old and... You just got vision. Yeah, for some reason. Wait, you don't see the entire map? No. I see like... It's I see because like Lysander gave it square. to you. Yeah, oh, I see like no, two squares awesome. around me. So, it's gone from everyone except for me. Since you said it took two hours to travel. Oh, it's all gone? Well, I mean, you said it took two hours to travel, right? One well, hour. an hour. Because it lasts an hour. So, yeah, okay. it's over. I mean, I still have it. So, for me, it's permanent. Uh, it's. L let me adjust all your dark visions because. Yeah. It is not like a dark black night. So. Yeah. Ice of the night. It's actually really cool, I never heard of a Twilight Claire. It's yeah, really yeah. cool. It's yeah. gonna get even cooler, guys. <laughs> yeah. 
that is about what you see too, but you do notice uh, there is definitely noise, and I'll freehand it. Uh, you you guys my... perceive something in that direction, in that direction. Okay. Can you give um, me my night vision back? Oh, I, I thought it was, I was going for everyone but you. Oh, really? well, no. It, yeah, thanks. Uh, I see. It. You get 300, or does yes. is it an ability you have to activate? I posted it in chat. I permanently have 300 range. Okay. And I can, yeah. use, it, I can use my the ability once for full rest to give it to a number of creatures up to my wisdom modifier. Um, or I can send, uh, expand a spell slot to do it again. All right. And what was your perception? Seven. Oh, so you don't yeah, actually my... see anything. <laughs> I rolled a 21 I rolled in perception. Rolled two and a one. Uh, then what is going to happen is uh, it will be their turn to make an action. We and roll initiative? Roll... Yep. So there's multiple cursed kids, guys. This might be a problem. I got a strong zero on my initiative, guys. Excellent. You have a minus one to your initiative. <laughs> what I am an old man. I have I have minus one in dexterity. I love it. I literally couldn't get up a hill that was like five feet tall. Wait. I got eight. Wait, wait, wait. Those creatures aren't those from those from the poster. Oh, uh, before we yes. <gasps> so uh, into these things. Raphos, uh, before this, I will have definitely touched you to increase your initiative to have advantage. So roll again and see what you get. All right. Yeah, 50. There you go. 50. All right. I love 50. It's a new day. It's a surprise round as these things get to make their first move. Lysander, you do not see them, so they still get it off. So they are going to yep. go ahead and spend their turn getting into position, most likely. Makes sense. As this one will go ahead and. Brent over actually. I have to see the lighting. It's so weird. Uh, you don't have the uh, turn order and correct yet, I think. Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. They just, it's a surprise round, so you guys don't actually get to. Got it. Guys, you better watch out my zero initiative, okay? I will go Seraph, Revos, and Siltor are still spooked. I'm uh, this, spooked. This one runs in to Hughesborn as you see it rush over, and it's just gonna go ahead and uh, oh, yeah, it's just gonna go ahead and try to attack you with two small claws that stretch raking against your chest, but you you quickly put up your arms and push it away. It's a little thing like whispers and hisses a little bit. I have eight good berries left from my spell, last spell cast, guys, so we should be fine. Is eating a good berry a free action since potions are? Yeah. Uh, uh, Lysander, suddenly you feel this. You, you, you watch as this creature comes out from the darkness and it like leans back and just. And spits this glob of gooey acid as it hits into your side and just leaks into your armor and just burns at your skin. Even with its disadvantage at 40 feet, it still landed on you with a 20. Jesus. How much did it deal? Uh, six damage. I already took it off. Whoa. Uh, uh -huh. Bjorn. Another one tries to spit at you, but it, it lands, it harmlessly gets shot aside. And we will go to the bottom. To the top of the turn order with Xerthus. Wait, is Agneta supposed to be on the t turn order? Yep. Yes. Oh, uh, I thought she acted on my turn, never mind. Any idea of what these things are? You have no clue. Cool, so it's bad acid, so I'm assuming acid isn't gonna work. 
That's well, why don't you roll to find out what it is, maybe? I mean, presence, roll anything, see if he... Yeah, roll Arcana. Nope. Things that are anathema, typically, what what damage type are you thinking about? I'll let you rule out one damage type if you, you tell me what you are about to cast. Uh, Firebolt. Uh, fire's fine. Firebolt will still burn him. Uh, the nine won't, though. The nine misses. Lysander. I am also gonna roll for checking out what they are. Ooh, 16. As a Twilight Cleric, you've often heard about the Boogeyman. Uh, things to scare children to staying home. But there's a reason for that. Those who travel at night without a light, or those who don't sit by a campfire at night, can once in a while be attacked by darklings. And that is what you see before you. Okay, do I know if they are resistant to necrotic damage? Yeah, you think it'll be fine. You're not too well versed in them, you just heard their stories. Of course. Um, Wait, are you trained in Arcana? No. No, you got a negative no. one. No. I got a negative one, and I got a, a roll of 17, so... Yeah. Uh, Which one are you attacking, and with what? Yeah, I'm still thinking, because... I think I first start out with... I think I'm going to use both of my spell slots and Healing Word and Bless. Healing Word as a bonus action. Okay. You Can't you only cast one spell? Sorry to be a rule slower, but... Yeah, you, you can. can only cast one, one first level spell per turn. Yeah? Oh, shit. Yep. Yep. Even if one is a bonus action and one is a normal action? Yep. You can do a cantrip and another spell, but uh, not two spells of higher than one and or above. Dang. Uh, okay, then... Just forget about that roll. Yeah. Okay, then I gotta... Oh, God. Those are too far away from each other. Those are too far away from each other. I think that okay. specifically because of sorcerers. <laughs> Using bonus actions as action. Okay. God, this is so difficult. I'm not used to playing a caster anymore. Just whack one of them. Yeah, and well, I wanna, I wanna cast bless. Yeah, that seems like a great spell already. Uh, but then the question is, what else do I wanna do? Because I that takes a full action. You don't so then I can you only can't just really do anything walk. Else. Yeah, you like walk. There's not uh, a lot of bonus actions early game, so just pick something. Yeah, I'll just cast Bless and... Let's see, I'll cast it on Revis, Sildor, and... Who's beyond? We get five extra hit points, right? Nope. What's Bless then? What Bless was? Bless adds, uh... Like a die... A, a one, a d4. To oh, you, okay. Can you we click it? Because I can add that as a condition. I, I clicked it. Oh, no, wait, sorry. I'll actually cast it uh, at level one. There we go. I've now actually cast it. Yeah, because yeah. what, what's the one that adds five HP to everyone? What's that one called? On who did you cast it on? Heroism. Uh, Silver, Rebels, and Husbjorn. 
So okay, no one was there. One second. Revos, Sildor, and uh, Husebjorn? Yes. Okay. I just added it to my thing, so I could just uh, click a plus and it should add it to you. It's added, sorry. I mixed it up. Yeah. So now on your turns, it should tell you you have bless. Okay. And the other thing I need to do is make sure you're doing concentration on that. There you go. Thank you. Uh, and what do you want to do for a bonus action? Go over a slash one? Uh, yeah. I'll step up and slash this one. Okay. So you just don't add, we just don't add your um, damage to it, your uh, your side damage. So you still do the full eight? No, you don't because you missed. I missed. Yes. Yep. All right. Uh, time for this dark lane to come up and flank and try to claw you from behind with a natural one and a natural two. Ah, perfect. Uh, Revos, it is your turn. You're blessed. No, I am. That, 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 that came out better in my head. <laughs> what um, would you like to do? First of all, I would like to tick the box on my character sheet that says range damage. <laughs> seeing, all all right. these, seeing all these little dark, uh, little Dark, uh, dark little furry dudes, like coming out of the woodwork. Like, like, okay, I was trying to be like a really rough and tough thing. So now I'm thinking I'm just going to be like a jockey server mount, server mountain dude. I don't know. Sure, me. I'm just the Swedish grandma. Uh, oh, 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 so he'll be the Swedish grandmother. I'll be the, I'll be <laughs> the, uh, I'll be the surfer, and I'm gonna rage and I'm gonna try to play. Oh wait, hold up. Hold up. I have a cleave, not a hammer. I, for some reason I thought I had a hammer. Regardless, kill it! I will give you advantage because there is someone almost on the opposite side. So you deal 11 damage, slicing into it, dealing about half his life in one fell swoop. Oh, killer. It hisses out and kind of like gargles this like greenish bile in his throat as it looks at you and that's about all it'll react to Sildor so I feel like for a celestial warlock Hex doing necrotic doesn't totally make sense I'll let you do radiant alright so I'm gonna Hex by the way don't forget that whenever you guys make a attack roll or saving throw with bless you can roll a d4 oh, and add it I'm gonna hex this little bastard okay let me find the hex button and you can do it every turn so don't don't uh, waste it basically just use it All right, did that work? Yes. The hey hex, hex button go off yeah yeah Okay, and I'm going sort of. to shoot the little fucker. Uh, seven does not hit. Plus a four, which probably ain't gonna do shit. No, plus two. Are you still allowed to add up before you say? Just asking for the future. How long does Hex last? Hex lasts a long ass time. A minute? An hour? You would think I would know this, considering I play Chain Red, but I don't. <laughs> uh, hex lasts for an hour. Okay. And I'm hexing its dexterity. Okay. Uh, you miss, but that is about all you can really do. So it will go to the one in the center of these four. It will uh, go ahead, since Revos just attacked it so fiercely, but its Lysander is just pinned between its friends. It's gonna it's gonna have to make a dice roll to make up its bind, evens on Lysander. And it will attack with advantage against Lysander. Ooh. Uh, two fifteens. Nice. Uh, Lysander is able to bring up hit, uh, their sword to block each of their hits. 
uh, almost parrying and pirouetting each one. Quite impressive swordsmanship. Yeah. Yeah, that. boy. Uh, the one that spit at you before is going to go ahead and move up his 30 feet. And he is going to take another glob of spittle. And since you're the closest one in range, Lysander, he's going to do it to you. Uh, you and take four more acid and each and make a, con a constitution saving throw. Jeez, okay. Uh, Beat a no. 10. Fourteen. All right, you're able to maintain concentration on your spell. Excellent. But you are now at one health. Mm -hmm. I can give you a berry for one HP. Uh, Thanks. This, this one's going to go ahead on up. Yeah. Noticing the dire circumstances Lysander is in, and his buddies are all around, it's taking no cares and will try. Pop, pop. Uh bringing Lysander down to unconscious. Mm -hmm. God, these are they, a lot. Well, they, they got four attacks off on one person. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's fine. I'll get first you up, ending your bless. What? Uh, you're oh, no longer yeah, concentrating. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, he hit Pooch me. gets to go. I didn't Pooch hear you. Do... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Pooch will go. He'll shoot his crossbow. At the first one he sees, and he will hit for 1d6 plus 2. For 8 damage, bringing it down to his last beating heart breath. And then it will be, uh... Husbjorn. Husbjorn will, uh... Will... As a, as a bonus action, can I shove a berry in his mouth? Or, sorry, a, uh, a mushroom in his mouth? Lysanders? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll shove a good berry. You get one HP. Woo! But don't just pretend you're unconscious for a while. Uh, okay, and then I'm gonna... gonna I'm gonna yeet at this, uh... Wait, Agneta didn't go. Yeah, Agneta is going to stand where she is. She likes oh, that okay. place. She's comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that last one. I'm gonna... Agneta! Come over here and help! Uh, sorry. Agneta! Come over here and help me! Make an animal uh, handling. I'm gonna make an Agneta handling. That's a nat 20. She moves over, and you can hear the things hiss as suddenly the bright light is casted on them. Oh! And they almost rear away. Xerthus, your turn. Oh, that's how we get them. Wait. All right. What? Wait, what? Is Agneta supposed to have 8 hit points? I don't know why it's changed. I copied it over from the other one. Oh, I don't worry about stupid. it. Okay, yeah. Alright, go oh, Hades. Hmm. I'm debating if I want to try to kill Lysander. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? <laughs> well, let's do it. Move what? here. Point. Point staff. Uh, the tip glows slightly blue, as in oh, no. knife made of pure ice shoots out. For uh, this, uh, trying to make a attack on Lysander or the Darkling. The Darkling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, make a ranged spell attack. Or just click the button. I'm attempting to. <laughs> Roll twenty. Eight. Uh, it does not hit. It still needs to make me a DC something. X A. Probably 13. a thirteen. Yeah. As well as Lysander uh, has to make one and the other dark. It the Sorry, other dark is not within five feet. That one okay. is well without five feet. So Lysander, it's just this one. To, you have to make a dex save. I'm assuming you fail. Because you're unconscious. 
I'm not unconscious. I ate a good berry and have one health. Cool, so you take two cold damage. I saved. Yep, you, you only take two. Yeah, you okay, only take Okay, I'm down again. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, my center. I need you yeah. to go ahead and make me a uh, saving throw. Yeah, that's save. Yeah, with your con uh, modifier. So roll just constitution I'm, I'm just going to click the death save button. That should do it automatically, right? Uh, it does not roll with con. So just roll your constitution. Wait, or... Oh, so I do a con saving throw, basically. Yes. Okay. Ooh! That is a regular 20. You have one save against you. Yeah. This one, having just been hit, uh, and with the light around it, well, uh, not like that kind of crap. He is not too happy about standing in no light anymore, and he will go ahead and use his turn to move. Will Igneta kick him or not? Oh, you're right. He doesn't really like Igneta all that much, so he okay. will uh, carefully move around Igneta and the light to get over near Xerthus and uh, claw at him uh, for 4 damage. Holy fuck wait, you have 6 HP. He's a wizard. That's true, but I mean I have- Revos. I have 7 turn. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a level 1. What's your AC? Thirteen. You have a better AC than me, at least. I can hey. make it. Hey, Gramps, get out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no grandfather, okay? I'm just a father. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. That's a significant amount of damage. Oh, <laughs> rap. That One is. Day. 4, 6, 12, 20 damage in one fell swoop. You cleave this thing in half. And its body just slumps down dead. He's dead. Cool. Excellent. I was like 60... I was like 70 something, right? If you want, you can use a free action to try to stabilize Lysander doing a medicine check of DC 10 to give him one save. Or you just wait for my turn. It's his time. Uh, I take a good berry from the guy next to you and pop it in my mouth. Yeah, I just like, Grandpa, give me those sensu beans! And I just like grab a handful and just like try to like fist them down oh, Lysander's sensu. throat. I will like, give I'm him one health. Like, like, yeah, like, you, I'm can only, you can only eat one per turn. It's specifically for. It's like I, a, it's like a, it's a better uh, heal spell than most, but there's a limit on. Uh, I, 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 I know what mechanics say, and I'm saying my guy is raging, grabbing a handful <laughs> of mushroom and like shoving his face full of them. Sildor, it is your uh, turn. I would almost make it be like a hundred percent die. So is okay then? Yeah. A good berry or not? He seems to be. Uh, they seem to be over top of him. You' not really certain what's going on. It's dark. Well, it's light, but it's also dark. Um, w is the one that I hexed dead? Uh, no. Actually, it's right next to Xerthus, clawing the crap out of him. All right, then I'm gonna shoot it. You hit. And then where the hell? It didn't do my hex damage. What is it? D6? Yep. Level 5 damage. Level 1. Level 1. <laughs> yeah. I'm really feeling, feeling the level 1 power creep right now. Be afraid I can't Maybe you guys are. Okay. Sildor, anything else? 16, sorry. Um. have my bonus, I can only use it one more time. So if Lysander is conscious, then I'm not going to use it yet. 
Yeah, I'm okay. conscious right now. This other one gets to go, and he doesn't quite like that whole light aspect going on, so he's gonna come over to Xerthus. Uh, he will go ahead and try to claw at him as well. Uh, dealing six and bringing Xerthus down. No! And that's why I didn't use it. Uh, Pooch gets to go. And he is going to go ahead and reload his crossbow and fire another bolt. Uh, missing, though. Huge Bjorn. Uh, it's a bonus action to give him a mushroom, so I'm going to give him another mushroom. And then I'm going to walk Sander? up here. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm that... going to just... I can reach that guy behind the other guy, right? Yeah, they're within the same oh, profit wait, square. Wait. They're tiny. I need to... I need to or actually... small. Oh god, uh, can I move, like, so I'm behind them? That no. would be like, that would be like 25 and a half, so yeah, probably not. Oh, I really want an advantage, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just the guy with the curse, I guess. Okay. Eight does not hit. Okay, Also, I'm gonna... you would not get advantage on a one that's been, a. Uh... Knocked out. Well, Zerthus is unconscious. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's very true. I'm sorry. I just dragged him further into the light. Zerthus. Wait, oh, I wanted to get. Like, can I try and make a get a walk to, towards here with the carrot? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll me okay. a get the handling. I'm gonna do a get the handling right there. She's fine where she is. <laughs> God wow, darn that it, that she doesn't want to move towards danger. <laughs> yeah, she she likes being on the road. Yeah, the road is comfortable. <laughs> uh, Zerthus, roll me a constitution saving throw. You have one success. Lysander. Well, can I argue that uh, Agneta would at least move to here? Because it's still the road. No, she's 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 probably eating the grass or something. She, she takes one step forward, basically. <laughs> yeah, I'll, was, I'll give her that one. Here's one a carrot. Seven feet. <laughs> she does want that carrot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but she doesn't want to look like she w needs it because otherwise, right. he, he's pure. Yeah, you know, you can't just yeah you can't just look like it. You gotta. She basically just like I step that's like that to rearrange her feet. Like she was just making she, like, sure she turns around and then she stops. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't know. Do I, am I actually going to get it, or are you just gonna concoct tease me? You know. I kinda... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so stupid. Oh, that healed. He healed mi I rolled minimum. Uh, sure if she heal for four. They're just gonna bring him down, though. They're next and I stand down. up. Okay. Yep, you spend 15 feet to stand up. Uh. Oh, I forgot I to put on the, the the epic fight music. There's no music on. I walk over here. Music, I hear it. Okay, and that will end your turn. Yes. Okay, having a friend on the ground, they're just gonna attack with advantage. They're in and the light right now. Uh, with disadvantage and advantage from the light, they still deal 7 damage. Oh. There you go. Sorry, Zervos. These things are durable. Yeah, we need uh, to Revos. track them down quickly. I wanted to cast shield when it hit me. Shield would put a plus 5 to you, so yeah. yeah. It would be 18, so you are nice. successfully at 4 health. Yeah, there's still one before your turn, though, so... Okay, I, I get the plus 5 until my turn. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought she was on for that. If you kill it, we'd be okay. We'll go ahead and move over to right here, if you want to try to attack of opportunity, yeah? He, only, he used his reaction account. Yeah, I used my oh, yeah. So then it'll just move over there. To get out of the light. Revos, it's your turn. Alright, here comes me. 
after cleaving this little darkness dude in half. I, like, notice that my allies over yonder are fighting some more of these bad nut little darkness nuggets. So, like, I bolt from my position, plant my glaive into the ground, pole vaulting over Henrietta, and then at, like, with the follow through, grabbing my glaive out of the ground and, like, bringing it down like an axe onto this dude right here. Watch me roll one. Yep. <laughs> Oh, oh, nice. Nine damage. Pretty good. You dealt nine damage onto one of the weaker ones. Still a victory. I mean, it looked cool as hell. Everyone kind of, like, stopped for a second and just watched you kind of pull vault over Hagnanta. And then come <laughs> down and slash it, and they're like... You, you got, like, a small little golf clap from one of the dead ones. And then we'll go on to Seldor. Like, like, this guy over here just, like, like rises yeah. from the den, holds a sign that says, like, 8.8. .8. Uh, Sildor tries his Eldritch Blast against one of them, but it fails. That's disappointing. Everyone's conscious now? Yeah. Yep. Alright. Yes, make sure we can kill him as fast as possible, if it's done. Uh, yep, so, uh, that guy is still on the ground. Uh, the plus five does not... Well, hold on. Yeah, plus five helped. Didn't do anything. And Pooch will try to shoot it. Oh, he's not supposed to be there. He's supposed to be right here. Good. Uh, your shield kept another claw attack against you, and Pooch did another three. Here's Bjorn, it's your turn. I'm gonna... Uh, hit the guy right in front of me with my club. You smack him on the face, and he uh, just collapses to the ground. Perfect. Uh, I don't. I, I guess I can give a berry to Surface if he if he allows it. Surface, you want a mushroom? Nope. No, he <laughs> he's, he doesn't want one. Surface. It's your they turn. They give you a health! I stand up. I okay. move my feet. Point staff. Stop moving into the darkness. I'm still in the light. Different rune flows. And a lash of lightning comes out. I need to make him... needs to make a DC 13 strength saving throw. Okay. Uh, does a 7 do it? No. He gets pulled 5 feet of me and takes... Three lightning damage. You do lightning lure? I can do all types of damage. Yeah, it's lightning lure, right? Lightning lure. Yes, yeah, I know the spells. And I'm gonna bonus action. Smack him with my dagger. Ooh, that's a cool kid. I'm, right. I'm just gonna smack him with my cane, the staff, because it's out. Alright. Yes, that is definitely a staff. Yep, it that is a staff. What? <laughs> yeah, staff though, if, if it's just a staff and not a not a cane or whatever it's called, what's the... Wait, One. They're called quarter staff, the actual fighting ones. Staff oh. is just an arcane focus. I thought you were talking about the cantrip that it should yes. have. Should just I? throw yourself a club, because that's essentially what it is. Yeah, that's reasonable. Quick question, is this guy just not gonna do anything, by the way? Oh, he's shooting off a crossbow! Oh, okay, sorry, I missed that. He just missed twice. The only, the the only difference oh. is that it's a technically a quarter staff, because I'm proficient in it. Only difference. Quarter staffs do a lot more damage than clubs, though. Right? I'll, I'll let you have a club and be proficient in it. Just that club, no other clubs. Just just roll to attack. Anything. Plus. Okay. Um, First, it wants to be over, we should fight. <laughs> Longer, don't worry. It misses. Lysander. 
Uh, yeah. I'm out of those. So, I'm just gonna go up and whack it, I guess. Hey! Hey! There you go. Uh, yeah, you kicked the crap out of it with the last 9 da or 11 damage. It takes 7 and it falls unconscious. As you see, its body starts to almost glow. And you can only, for one quick instant, go like, oh shoot, as everyone in uh, the area make me a DC Constitution saving throw. Okay. DC what? All four of them explode, so even you, Sildor. Oh, what the fuck? Ramos. A DC what, by the way? A uh, DC 10. Ooh. So far, so good. Oh, he's Bjorn. I have a 4 plus. I rolled awfully. Don't forget the doggy. Oh, thanks. This is I not a critical don't roll. Talk. You're not going to ignore the pet damage for the entire campaign. <laughs> Magnificent. These all burst into like a quick blinding flash. And for the one round, only everyone was able to get their hands up, but he was beyond was like, what? And with his slow reaction time, he gets blinded, his eyes singed just a little bit, and you're all blinded for one round. What happened? And before you, you can see their bodies have been almost burnt to a crisp, just. Dust laying underneath them. Okay, uh, so Agnetha is not blind, but I am. I'm gonna hold out the carrot for Agnetha. I All think right. combat's over, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give her a I'm gonna hold the carrot out for her so she can come to me. Alright, so who's the lowest? Me. Two health. I, I can't see your health bar. I uh, yeah, I can't see your health bar for some reason. Yeah, you uh, have you, health you bar. I do have a health bar, but uh, I don't think it's public. Uh, I'll give you six HP for in my. Uh, thanks. There you yeah, go. Now I'm, your I'm health bar the lowest. Gonna save it this do, time. Do we need how much HP are you guys missing in total? I can make ten more. Why, why don't we do this more like what you guys would actually say in character? Try to sure, tell you. sure. Does anybody, uh, does anybody want some more mushrooms so I can, uh, I can procure some more? No. Why not? They're delicious. I, I would appreciate three more if you have them. I'd, uh, I'd rather save myself if it's only for free. I'll, uh... Take a look at uh, Zarthus, and I'll put my hand out, and he'll heal five. Mm -hmm. okay. We have a... Okay, so everybody's fine now. Let's get mm -hmm. going. Agneta, here I'll you go. go. Let's go, Agneta. I'll buy you another carrot if you get going faster. Let's all stay within the light, thank you. Yeah. Yep. It lasts an hour, and I, it's a cantrip, so I can just do this all day. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of. <laughs> you guys continue on back before you make it to Sutter Town proper. I love how Nate and his brother all both have the same same icon uh, picture. Oh, no, yeah. they're completely different. Turn order still up. Yeah, let's Turn go. Order is still up. I'm going. Don't worry about it. I'm going straight to the sheriff with Agnetha and the kid. Yep. And he'll look over at the glowing sack on your back. Go. What the hell you guys been up to? Uh, yeah, we uh we've done some uh, stuff for you and um, and the the farmers over there. So uh, we found the kid. You were looking for? I'll, I'll cancel the glow, just because. 
Uh, uh, the kill seems to be a uh, cursed with a um, an affliction of some sort. Uh, I can investigate into what it is, if it's a disease or something like that. Uh, and Proof will speak up. The kid's cursed. Unless you have another way of. Wait, how is Nate here? Did Pooch bring him while we're walking over here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, do you guys have a magician in town that could uh, uncurse him? No, the closest one you'll be looking for is High Echelon. Guess we're carrying a kid around for a while. Uh, so, um. You could go to the High Evoker Echelon over in Athana. Uh, if you want to see proof that this is the kid you're looking for, we can show you the face and he looks pretty much the same, but just uh, a bit more scary. He'll look at it and go like, ah, oh, gross. I'd Where like our fucker? payment, please. Alright, right. Ah, right. uh, here, let's go back to the thing and he'll drag you all with him. As you guys go back to what looks to be like his house, but half modified with like a cell in it. Like it is just basically a sheriff's post at this point. And he'll rummage around a little bit and he looks through some small bags. There's mostly copper in them. So we killed three of those right. boogeyman looking doohickeys. Yeah, and the boogeymen are also... Found Sorry, out I... in those farmers and we found the kid. I don't... That's the wrong... Uh, if you look in the Sutter community board, the boogeymen are also posted as something that... Yeah. Some sort of worker. We, we did. That's, that's not a... That's not a... He say that post is telling us to... Uh, yeah. He wants to... Uh, I'm always on the lookout to make my employees more effective mm. in their... Quote unquote, nighttime activities. So, I'm gonna go talk to that guy. Sergeant Evander will go, uh, well, there's no, there's no reward for the kid. But uh, if you're thinking about it, he was the one taking grain from the mill. Pooch and Nate, you gotta pay up. Oh, there was, okay, why would it? And they grumble a little bit, and each one fishes out, uh, and uh, gives you guys 50 gold. Not each, each. just all together. Uh, we're five people, 10 gold each, boys. Yep, 10 for everybody. Uh, yeah. I think Agneta should get 10 though, so uh, yeah. I'm taking it. Kind of <laughs> okay, everybody gets 10 each. I'm gonna buy some you, stuff for Agneta. You're gonna give your donkey your 10 gold, you know that. No, no, I'm gonna buy her some stuff. Quick question. Yes. Did Revels get his fox belt? Ah, uh, yeah, they threw that in too. Revos, you, go, you now have a nice, beautiful fox belt. Nice! I got something to line this metal armor I got from the knight dude from yesterday. Oh, yeah. That was so, Mr. Um, Mr. Uh, Evander Dun Dragon, uh, we got attacked on the road here uh, yeah. by by. I think they're called Dorklings, and apparently one of the people in town, Umbero Falone, has Nightlings, right? Or Darklings, sorry. Umbero Falone. Oh, he posts out here from uh, from uh, Athana as well, looking for workers. Is that correct that he uses uh, Nightlings? The I, guess, the I don't know whatever he wrote on his posters. What he wrote. Because uh, I would like... Uh, is he in town or is he in uh, another town? He is up north. About a half day's journey, you'll find Athana. Okay then. Um, yeah, because I'm going to talk to him about having his uh, Darklings not attack people in the middle of the road. I don't believe they're his. I'm pretty sure they're his. Uh... I'm looking at the community board and I'm like, just where the hell is it? It's the, the black dudes, the, the little three right, yeah. black guys. Yeah, picture, but when I, I look it up, I can't read the picture. It's service request that's Umbero Falone. I am always on the lookout to make my employees more yeah, effective it's really in short. nighttime activities. I think he's right. looking to make their... I've got a great idea. Oh, here it, they are. Third bottle, fourth bottle, sorry. Yeah, but he's asking for an axe throwing contest. 
No, no. no. Look Those are two different things. Uh, uh, uh. So his is only like one line, pretty much. Yeah, it's really short. Oh, that's shady as fuck. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, I believe we should go talk to what's the what's the local magician's name? If we can get him to fix the kid. High Evoker Echelon? Yes, that guy. In Athana, you'd have to travel north and leave this area. So I have to journey, but you guys are, it is nighttime. I, so. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let's take There's a. Also 6 p.m. here, so I'm thinking we wrap it up for tonight. That seems reasonable, sure. I feel like this is a good place to cut off. What do you guys want to finish up with, though? Go what I you want guys to think? ritual cast Detect Magic uh, and Disease. Well, so, right. Detect Magic and Ritual cast Detect Disease and Poison. So I want to see what the, if it's magic or... or He's got it's Transmutation magic. magic on him. Okay. Perfect. Uh, but it seems it incomplete. Me, look at Detect Magic. But, uh, sorry, Dundrag will be saying, uh, something along the lines of, listen, uh, for the kid, best we can do is get him over to the orphanage until you get him to the Evoker. They can take a better look and care of him. And not going to the orphanage. Yeah, he's kind of dangerous at the moment. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. Was there any sort of similarity between the Darklings and him? He kind of, I mean, the Darklings had horns black, craggly yeah. skin, uh, dark hair, and those same ring eyes that he seems to be developing. So he's probably turning into one of them. Yeah, I pointed that out. Yeah. So, the other- I'm so sorry, Drunk Dragon will point out, well, I can keep him here in the cell. That works. It's up to you guys. He's gotta be somewhere till morning, behind bars is good enough. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll bid you all farewell and a good night. As long as they make sure he has like a, a good meal and stuff. Yeah, I know how to take care of a damn like like orphan. Or run away. I think we should go to the to the rusty... What's it called? Rusty barrel? Rusty... The rusty inn? Yeah, a rusty inn. And take a sleep. Or take a nap. Oh shit, there's people here now? I know, I put them in. Wait, that token's the same. Is, is that the same person as who we saw on the map earlier? So you guys go in, uh, a lot of people do congregate in here. And there is definitely a short little uh, dwarven fellow. Is that that guy? Yeah. Is that the one who set up the, uh, the shady board thing with the Darklings? You never spoken to him. No, we we never talking to. I guess we can. Now we got a description. Presence, do you? Uh, so, are we playing more or are we going? I kind of want to finish up here. Uh, yeah, yeah. So okay, let's finish up at us entering the town. And I I, I want to. It is a silver a night to sleep. <laughs> Definitely gonna I'll sleep pay over. Silver. Uh, does he have a stable for, uh, does he have a stable for Agnetha? Oh, uh, they have a place outside to tie her up. No. They don't have, a uh, stable's gonna cost you two silver. I'm paying two silver. It's extra or total? Uh, extra. Okay, I'm paying three silver then. Okay. I'm going to get my usual, a sampler minus the elven battle spirit. Okay, just you're gonna have to pay the associated costs. I, I, I I'm willing to do so. Awesome. So let's see, three gold. Something else then. Uh, but let's cut it short here, guys. It was fun. Thank you for the session. Thank you guys for enjoying for going from level eight to level. Zero. <laughs>
one. You're like, yeah, only yeah. did 83 damage a turn? That was weak. And then you're like, 8 I damage a turn is pretty good. Yeah, I, I really miss having more abilities. Seems sort of state at the moment. I guess it'll turn out better when, as soon as I get my, uh, my uh, uh, but sword stuff. Rescuing the kid, dealing with the ambushes along the road, you guys can go to level 2. You're settling <laughs> in. Stop it! How do I do that in roll 20? Sorry if I'm stupid, but... Uh, go to... Uh, if you click on your character sheet, there's that little yep. cogwheel on the top right. Click yep. that, and go to the very bottom. Of the page, there'll be very like bottom. two little anvils. There's like two little anvils on the right column. Yeah. The one's called level plus character. Okay. Launch level plus character mancer. You'll click that. Okay, next. Oh wait, we did level up? Yep. Y'all level twos. I'm uh, gonna level my... Oh, no. Nice. Guys, I get wild shape. I'm never using wild shape. <laughs> Why not? Turn into a donkey just like your donkey. No, no, I'm, <laughs> use, I'm using it for my... This is lonely at night. So what are we doing for uh, hit die leveling?